Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I've borrowed this 2021 Toyota Camry XSE from my friends at Yoakum Toyota in Shreveport, Louisiana. And I realize a lot of you ask me often to do lower trim levels. And yes, this is the top trim level available for the Camry. And I'll list all of the trim levels on the screen and their base prices in case you want to know and follow that with the safety features available on this particular model. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus is what that's going to be. For 2021, there are some minor exterior and interior changes as far as the exterior goes. The front bumper and grill have been restyled a bit. Tell me what you think about that as you look at that on the screen. Of course, you've got those LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and auto assist high beam and under the hood is the main reason why I wanted to choose this particular model for today's video. This is the main reason why I chose this particular Camry. The engine under the hood, the 3.5 liter V6. Let's compare that to the Accord Touring 2.0T. The two liter four cylinder in the Accord, of course, turbocharged 252 horsepower. Here we've got 301 horsepower and 267 pound feet of torque. That's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. But one thing that is available on the Camrys that is not available on the Accord. All wheel drive. The Accords come standard with front wheel drive. Tell me down in the comments, how much of a difference would that make in your decision making process if you were weighing out the two models? Gas mileage comes in at an estimated 22 miles per gallon city, 32 out on the highway, and 26 combined. The exterior color on this particular model of Camry, the wind chill pearl, is accented brilliantly. Yes, I said brilliantly. With the black roof, the black mirrors, and of course the black 19 inch alloy wheels. You also have black trim around the windows and the black door sill on the lower side of the exterior. So I think that really gives it a nice appearance, really kind of a racy look. And just because if I don't mention this in the video, someone will ask about it. Yes, there are turn signal indicators built into the side view mirrors and a panoramic roof. And the sportiness continues right here on to the rear of the Camry with the black spoiler. Pretty much, I say, the right size. Not too big, not too small. Of course, you've got all your blacked out logos here, the Toyota Crown, Camry, and XSE, and also the same with the quad tip exhaust back here. And a bit of a diffuser here, at least in theory, I guess we could say, or cosmetically speaking, we should say, with the lower portion of the bumper right there. And let me open the trunk. And if you're wondering, does it have a spare tire or the tire repair kit that some car makers are going to in some of their vehicles? Good news, it has a spare tire. I think everybody likes that over the tire repair kit. And I'll put the numbers on the screen of the rather plentiful cargo space that's available here in this particular model. And we'll hop into the back seat and I will show you one of my favorite features. So I hope I don't disappoint anybody with my favorite feature here or one of my favorite favorite features here on the interior. It's not something nobody else on YouTube has ever shown, so I hope you're not disappointed at this, but it actually has to do with the interior color. It's the cockpit red color that we have here, nicely contrasted, again, just like the exterior, the interior contrasted with black accents throughout as well, whether it's on the door bins with the carpet and in several other places, of course, that's obviously also on the dashboard. And as far as space goes, well, I'm five foot 10 and I don't really have to tell you that I don't have as much room above my head, but even though I don't have a lot of head space up here, I mean, I could kind of sit down a little bit lower, but honestly, I think I could be somewhat comfortable for a reasonable amount of time here in the back seat. And you do have cup holders back here, of course, part of the fold down armrest. And one thing I didn't talk about in the rear cargo area, just in case you didn't know, if you buy one of these or maybe you rent one, this is a popular rental, maybe not an XSE trim level, but it's gonna have this feature that I'm about to mention. If you wanna maximize your cargo space by folding down these back seats, folding them down flat, like I showed you earlier, 
You don't do that here in the interior. You actually will release that in the trunk. I'll show you those releases. They're inside the trunk, very easy to use, very easy to access, and you just pull on each one and then you can fold down these seat backs right here. Dual air conditioning vents, no USB ports back here, which is a little bit of a surprise, but it is what it is. And again, I mentioned that panoramic sunroof right here, quite a nice view. That's something else we haven't seen yet on the Honda Accord, at least as of the 2021 model year. Let's talk about some of the standout features that you'll find here in the front seat. Obviously, you're gonna have a lot of the typical features and functionality. Got these steering wheel mounted paddle shifters here, which actually I think are quite nicely designed, easy to use, and seem to fit the size of the steering wheel quite well. That is a comfortable leather wrapped steering wheel, by the way. You have, of course, a backup camera here with the infotainment screen, multiple views, all the stuff you would expect to see there, but I also like the bird's eye view camera that is also part of the system here. A great safety feature. Of course, you've got dual zone climate control here that you can sync together if you wish to. Don't have to do that. Also, connectivity up here, I'll show you that on the screen. And one thing that I like here that I think maybe would be beneficial in more vehicles, making use of space in a very wise manner, in my personal opinion, is what Toyota has done here with the wireless charging pad. It's not just a wireless charging pad. It's one of those multitaskers that I often talk about here on the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel. There's also storage space underneath that. You could put anything you want in there and it's neatly hidden away. Of course, multiple driving modes. You've got Eco, Normal, and Sport. We'll be doing our zero to 60 test in Sport, of course. Brake hold, your power parking brake. And like I said, of course, you've got the two drink holders here heated and ventilated seats. I am taking advantage of those ventilated seats today. And when you open the console here, more connectivity there. And as far as storage space goes, I'm gonna guess about five, maybe six, if you fold them just right, or seven vehicle visionary t-shirts are uh, able to fit inside the console. But let's get out for that test drive that I've been looking forward to doing and see how we can compete with Toyota's projected zero to 60 with this model of Camry. Okay guys, here we go on the zero to 60. You're gonna know before I'm gonna know, but here we go. Spun the front tires a little bit. So, I'll put the numbers up on the screen. I don't know what they are yet because I don't really want to look necessarily while we're driving here. But you know what they are before I do. <laughs> so I don't know how impressed I actually am at what we've done here, but it is what it is. So my overall impression of the zero to 60, well, I shouldn't say that I was surprised that it spun the front tires taking off like it did, uh, but it did. And now I haven't done a zero to 60 with the Draggy with any of the uh, Accords yet. So that we might have to work on sometime in the future. We'll see what happens. But as far as my overall impression, well, with 301 horsepower, yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it spun the tires more than the Accord has when I've done that kind of thing in the past, just doing a, a launch test with it or something along those lines. It would spin the tires, but it just kind of chirped the tires a little bit. This one actually spun a decent amount and kind of kind of nosed over just a little bit. That might have been uh, one of the sensors maybe sensing more air or fuel than what it thought it should have. So that might have been the culprit there. I'm not actually sure. So that probably killed our time a little bit, but it is what it is. I thought I would do it just for fun. Now, again, this is the first time that I've driven the 21 model of the Camry. So we're going to cruise down through here and just do a little cornering test and just see how it handles. And I already know that it's a great handling car just from having driven it around today. But one thing that I think about is I drive over this bridge right here and hit some of the bumps coming on and going off of the bridge. It does ride really well. This is a very smooth riding vehicle. Uh, it's, it's not bad at all, in fact. The seats are comfortable, the steering wheel is comfortable. I like the fact that the steering is nice and responsive and honestly pretty tight. So I always like 
to drive a vehicle that has very minimal play in the steering wheel. And while there's a tiny amount of play in each direction before the steering begins to respond to your touch, it's not bad, not bad at all. It's actually very minimal. So that's not a bad thing, not a knock by any means. Let's go through our corner here and see what the handling is like. Very good, in fact, I'm not really going all that fast just to take over the speed limit. But the handling is good, very minimal body roll there, very responsive. Let's see about the gas pedal. It is good and responsive to the touch of my foot. We'll hit the brakes a little bit here, just for the heck of it. I haven't done that before. We'll move that. Hopefully you can't see the, <laughs> the transmitter there. I have it just sitting on the dashboard. But the brake pedal is very responsive, but it's not one of those situations where you have to learn to be light with it because it's aggressive. It actually very, very well seems to have a good balance. We'll put it that way. So overall, I must say, I'm very impressed with the driving experience of the Corolla. Of course, you've got the panoramic sunroof that your backseat passengers are going to be able to take more advantage of, obviously, to have that full view. But that is one thing that I know a lot of people have said they would like to see on the Accord in the future. And I haven't really done any research to find out if that's coming in 2022. We'll have to wait and see. Someone will probably say in the comments, uh, but obviously it is what it is. We'll find out. So overall, I must say I'm pretty impressed here with the Camry. Really like the styling. It's a very sporty looking car, especially on the XSE trim level with this particular color contrast that we have here. I've talked a lot about that today. I like that. And I really must say, one area where I think, and it's not that there aren't multiple areas where the Camry shines, but obviously one area where it really shines is with the interior. I'm gonna get on it just a little bit here. Get up to speed. Pretty impressive. And one thing I did do earlier as far as a acceleration test, just in the interest of fair reporting, a lot of the time with vehicles like this, if you just kind of ease progressively into the gas pedal, it'll accelerate better than it will if you just drop it to the floor. Just my experience, not that everybody out there is wanting to know, but it is a, well, basically part of the test drive. I know not everybody's gonna get out there and floor their Camrys and see what they'll do, but it's good to know if you need to accelerate, you definitely have the capability to do so. And that is a quick tour and test drive with the 2021 version of the Toyota Camry XSE. Tell me down in the comments, were you surprised at what I was able to pull off with the zero to 60? Well, I'll be interested to see. I know people have probably done better, but like I said, one of the things you have to consider is the atmospheric conditions, and that's gonna determine partially what kind of numbers you get. Thanks to my friends at Yoakum Toyota for loaning me this camera for the day, and all of you for being kind enough to give me the chance to give you a vision for your next vehicle. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.